Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging to do today and this one has come to me from the good people at dpclubs.com. So thank you so much uh, for sending me these. They contacted me and asked if I would like to show you some products and they have been sent to me free of charge. So thank you very much, DP Clubs. So yeah, let's get into this and have a look. I have worked with them before and I have been happy with the products. So we have a canvas, yay, and whoop, another canvas, and then you know me, another <laughs> canvas, that one looks like a special drill, wouldn't be a Lisbon boxing without a special drill, uh, oh we have a little chap there, okay now I like my quirky things, and then we have these two things, Ooh. okay, so uh, we'll have a look at that one in a second and those, but we'll have a look at these first. And these are some huge Halloween stickers. Yay! There are quite a few of them coming out at the minute and there is quite a set in these. And I think I might have to get them all because they look really, really good and really, really fun. Uh, they are $2.99 each on the website at the moment. Oh, sorry, $2.99 each uh, on the website at the moment. And, oh, sorry, I've not done the conversion. So, let me take this one out. Okay, keep that one with those drills there. I'll just take the tool kits out and then they'll lay flat. They have got a little bit squished. But once the drills are on these, they're going to be fine. Okay, because they are sort of a semi-full drill. I won't say a full drill. Yep, so they've both got your basic tool kits, your pen and your boat and your wax, which is fine. Running out of spaces to put things, definitely need a bigger desk. Some lovely colours, so yeah, just need putting it under a book or something, just to give it that little bit of a flatten out. But it has come a long way, and it's just, just say, got that little bit creased. But certainly all of your sticker, once all those drills are on it, are going to be fine. And is it a die cut sticker? Let me have a look. I do believe it is. So let me just double check. See if I can. Yes, it is. So it is just literally um, the creases on this background you don't need to worry about because there's only like a little bit of a crease there. But once you've got those drills on, that's going to lay flat. So they're sort of, well, special drill, partial. Um, so you're not painting diamond paint in the background. It is just your big sticker in the middle. But how super is that? And I love the ghost. I, I mean, he's cross-eyed for goodness sake. He's like, boo. <laughs> he's not very frightening, is he? <laughs> and we've got our two little, one well, very happy pumpkin and one that's saying, ha, 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 I'm in the background. And I think that's maybe a little one there as well. But I love the font on this as well, the way they've done it. Uh, it looks absolutely great. Okay, so let's give this a quick measure. I think they're possibly about 10 inches, are they? Maybe even 12 inches. So we'll go from the widest point there. Yeah, they're, let's flatten it out just that little bit more. They're about 11 and a half inches, which is just over 29 centimetres. So they're a good big sticker. And then from the top of his head there, by about six inches, which is 15 centimetres. So that is super, but I just thought, yeah, I got quite a few hanging things last year. Uh, so I thought I'll get some stickers this year. And if you keep these backing sheets, once you've finished with it being on the wall, you can put them back on the backing sheets and possibly reuse them again next year. It's something I'm going to try anyway. Obviously I've not done it, so I can't hundred percent say, but I know with similar items, um, I don't know if you remember my big Christmas tree that I've got that's a big sticker. That's now been on the wall two years and peeled off and put back on its backing paper. Um, and I'm going to try putting it up again this year and see if it's still sticky. It certainly was last year, so you know I think these will possibly be the same. But I will let you know, but obviously that will be after the 31st of October. So we've got a few different coloured drills. I mean, you could substitute the drills for some special drills, for some glow in the dark, 
or for your uh, jelly drills, you know, that are either glow in the dark or um, your nice crystal drills, anything like that. Gosh, my brain went blank then. I'm just too busy thinking. <laughs> So it's only three colours. Wow. So great to get the kids involved in these as well then. So we've got a little bit of shading, which is like a greyish colour. We've got your bright white colour, which is your ghost. And then we've got this lovely pumpkin orange colour for all your letters and your pumpkin. So, yeah, I mean, it might be actually it might be nice to just put the pumpkin in crystals. So he just stands out that little bit more from the sign. Um, or even just in a different colour or in ABs. Ooh, there's so much you can do with these. But yeah, that is super. Love that one. Love that one. Now then, I better, better make sure I keep these in the right packets because uh, I don't want to get them muddled up. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to write on the back. Oh, do you know? I don't need to. Well done, DP Clubs. Look at that. The number on the canvas and the number on the packet is exactly the same so i don't need to worry about writing that canvas number on the back because it's already on the sticker well done that's brilliant great thinking love that because they're not always are they um some of these special drill projects sometimes you've got to make sure you keep the drills with the right one okay so that's sticker number one oh, i'll put it away later look I'm making lots of crinkly noises. And some people don't like crinkly noises. He just needs to go under a book to flatten out a little bit more. Right, so this one again, same, but this one's a little bit darker. Ooh, it's got bats and a graveyard at the top. Da da da. Uh, and I think we've got spooky bits down the bottom here, but I can't remember what they might be spiders. I can't remember exactly what they are until I get it done. But yeah, two ninety nine again. I mean, you can pay that for going into uh, some of the stores at the moment. I noticed they started getting the Halloween stuff in and it's a little bit pricier than it was last year, as with most things, unfortunately. Uh, it is a die cut sticker again, so it is just the sticker bit that you're doing, not all the background, so that's good. Give me my nice flat mount. Oh, and we've got Happy Halloween. Okay, and what drills have we got with this one? Is this just three colours as well? Oh no, this is only two colours. Okay, so I'm not going to take these out because we are just literally a navy blue and white. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, so I may do the bats uh, in a black colour, but we'll have to see. But yeah, so that's our two Halloween stickers and it's not long off uh, and her drills and chills and uh, spooky flings has started and last year i did actually do a sign uh, as one of my projects for drills and chills as well so i don't know whether they're doing it again this year i've not read the rules actually yet this year um with having my event going on for september um but yeah last year it was for any sort of craft so they did allow like your little projects as well so something to think about Right, and my little new diamond painting pen, my new friend, okay, is a little space man. And I quite like these because they're like a squishy, so you get a squishy to play with as well. And yeah, he's a little space man and he's all 3D and he's really lovely and they're really light to hold these. If you like a chunkier pen, but you don't want the weight of like your acrylic pens or your wooden pens, then these are brilliant because they're like a foam, as I say, they're like a squishy, but there's no weight to it at all. And you've got your drill pen on the end there, your single placer. It has got a little cap so you can put uh, your wax away as it were. It just keeps your wax from drying out a little bit if it's got a lid on your pen. Uh, but yeah, I just thought he was really sweet. He's a little spaceman. Yay! And it's good. There is some special offers uh, on the DP Clubs website at the moment. Um, if you spend $20, I think you get a free item. Uh, it's free shipping over $39. And there is an offer of 18% off some of the canvases. So, you know, if you're looking um, and there's certain things that you want and you're just maybe a few dollars short of getting your free shipping or your free gift or your money off, then adding yourself a little fun pen in that you're going to use, it's something that's 
you know, always a bit of fun. Uh, this was $1.99. Then it can just bring you over that limit. Um, and you basically get this free and you're shipping free or whatever as well. So it's always worth checking. I know when I'm shopping, I like have a basket that I keep topping up as I see things. And then when I hit a certain level, then uh, I go and check out and make sure I get my money off. <laughs> I don't like paying full price for things. I like to make sure that I get uh, bargains. Okay, so let's have a look at these canvases now. So I say it wouldn't be a Liz... Uh, unboxing without a special diamond painting special drill diamond painting they're all special right and it wouldn't be a liz unboxing without trying to find the end of how to get into the bag there it is it is there i thought it was there but it won't come open from the other side dear me fighting with diamond painting bags what a life <laughs> Okay, so, oh, we've got a couple of little bags in that one. Okay, I'm not quite sure what two bags is, but anyway, two bags. Right, it's all, oh, look at those. All special drill, nice and sparkly. And we have, oh, look at this. It's two little blow tips in a little flowery. And I just thought this was really, really pretty. Okay, let's just uh, try and sort this plastic out a little bit. It's a 30 by 30 canvas size, so the inside picture is going to be roughly probably 25 by 25. And it's got a nice coloured background as well, this one. So it's nice, pretty shading. Got like an ombre effect going from your blue and then to yellow and then fading back out to a, a green again. So that's pretty. Um, if this just had a white background, I think it wouldn't look as effective. And then we've just got like the blue of the sky in the background with the blue tits. But oh, look at that. They're just singing away to one another. They're obviously very, very much in love. Oh, lovely clear drill field. Give it a quick measure, but I think it will be about a 24 or 25 square. Yeah, we're a 24, which is nine and a half inches 24 centimeters nine and a half inches by 24 centimeters nine and a half inches measurements are only rough measurements uh, just to give you an idea don't hold me to a millimeter or whatever we've got a key code at both sides and there are 13 different colors and gems wow excellent just give it a little bit quite a stiff canvas this one but again it will flatten down most of the actual drilling area uh, I haven't got much of a crease at all it's more just the couple of edges just where it's been wrapped around the drills okay Have a look at these. Uh, the price of this one at the moment on the website is five dollars and 79 cents so great price okay let's have a look let's have a look so we have yep yeah, the 13 oh we've got owl claws as well so we've got like a, a bronzy brownie colour there and a very pale blue. It's almost like a grey blue, that one. And a lovely like amethyst blue. Oh, look at those sparkly clear crystals there. Nice grassy green. Oh, hot pink. We've got a nearly hot pink and a hot pink. Yay, I've done it again. Most of my canvases have hot pink in them. Well, my special drill ones anyway. We've got like an, a honey ambery colour there and a lovely lemony goldy colour. We've got the little gold um, marquees that have the silver backing. Some little tiny uh, teardrops in a like lilac colour. A slightly larger gold colour. And then, as I said, those will always be owl claws to me. They're an iridescent coating on an orange teardrop without any facets on. But as I say, the first painting I got that was an owl had these as owl claws, so they will always be owl claws to me. <laughs> and it looks as though they go all the way around here. So we've got a lovely pop of colour with this, just that little bit of lilac, just to give an extra bit of shading, a nice bright green. And then your pinks, just to complement your blue on your little birds there. Wow, and that's your two colour blues for your bed. Oh, that is lovely. 
and it's nice to see um sort of british birds as well because there are a lot of canvases at the moment that have got like um blue jays and cardinals on but we don't have those here in the uk and much as i love them um i do prefer to get ones that have actually got sort of british birds on and these little blue tits are british birds okay um, it's easier to say to the grandkids, see if you can find one of these birds while we're out. <laughs> I could be really mean and say to them, see if you can find a cardinal while we're out. <laughs> It'd keep them busy for hours, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, so that's canvas number one looked at. So let's look at this one. This is another canvas. I think this one may be a special as well. Oh dear. Let's have a look. Oh, can't get into this one. Where's my squizzers? Oh, the big ones have come out. Bringing out the big guns now. Okay. And let's see what we've got. I think this is one that's been on my wish list for a long time. Oh, yes, it is. So I will be interested to see this one. This one won't get done. Um until probably November-ish, uh, maybe October, we'll see how we go. Basic toolkit again, pen, boat and wax. And we are, ooh, all special drills. Wow, ooh, some nice colours in there. Okay, and it is a wreath, but it's in the shape of like a Mickey Mouse type wreath. And I just thought that was really, really pretty. And I've just realised now, it's got like little mouse shapes heads on it as well look in amongst like instead of berries so these are like baubles hung on the wreath that are all like mouse head shapes as well and you've got your bows there okay it's 30 by 40 which actually i was expecting it to be like a 30 by 30 so it's bigger than i was expecting which is wonderful uh, it's got 12 different gems and colors i've got these gorgeous bows look that match the one down the middle one on either side it has got a white background but again as i've done or i've mentioned with previous canvases i may put this onto the mount board and cut this one out because uh, i think it would look quite nice as just a little bit raised rather than a picture um, and as i say with it only having the white background not my favorite i do prefer a colored background more like the birds have come with but uh, yeah, I'm always wanting to then cut out a canvas, which you don't have to do, but it's just personal preference. So let's have a look at this one. So this one is roughly 34 centimetres, which is about 13 and a half inches by 25 centimetres, which is about nine and three quarter inches. So yeah, here you go basic size again again it's quite a stiff-ish canvas let's see if we can flatten the cover sheet out this does as much for flattening it out as anything just uh, releases the tension as it were <laughs> not quite like yoga but you never know <laughs> okay but yeah just thought that was a little bit different uh, I may be gifting this one as well because I don't know quite a few little people that maybe just might quite like this one. <laughs> Something a little bit different for Christmas. Okay, let's have a look at these colours. So as I say, we have 12. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. So with this lovely, like, jady green colour there, that's a really rich colour. A little bit paler green. A lovely cherry red there, oh, a very dark red there, I love that red, really deep red. Just a few of your little silver crystals. We have some lovely AB uh, coated marquees, they're quite a large one those. AB is your Aurora Borealis. It's basically an iridescent coating that they put um, on top of a, a normal gem and it just gives it a little bit more sparkle you see different colours in it like oil on water and then that's a smaller one that's got more of an oil on water effect as you can see you can see the purple and blue and green coming out and then these huge red ones that have no facets in at all they're great but I think we can see where they go 
around all the like ears, the ear wreaths at the side. With some lovely um, peachy goldy colour there. And a little bit of a lilac -y purple. And an aqua blue. And then that lovely fresh limey green colour. So they are going to look super. I say this one will be a Christmas project. And I am not going to leave all my Christmas projects until December. I think I got to December the 1st and suddenly I had this massive box last year of all these Christmas projects to do. And I was still doing them Christmas Eve. And I'm not doing it this year. <laughs> I'm trying to be organised. And Joe, if I get as many this year as I did last year, you won't be able to get in my living room for diamond painting little projects and pictures and things all over the place. It'll be winter wonderland. Yay! I love Christmas. <laughs> okay, so we have a full drill as the final canvas. Oh, and the price of that, this one, is £5.79. The last one is a full drill and this one is £8.79. I think this one's a little bit bigger. It's a 40 by 40 square, this one. Okay. So let's have a look at this. Let's just move those two out of the way a second. Come on, little birds, out you go. of a roll out. We've got a pen, a boat and a wax, a bit bigger piece, piece of wax because it's a bigger canvas. And all our drills in here, quite a muted colour palette there. And it is, get it the right way up, like a Harry Potter-esque type painting. And I just thought this was really different. I've not seen this one before. It is 24 colours. It's a round and it does have DMC cards. It's flattened a little bit. Yeah. We needed the 40 by 40 to just get the detail in. Uh, some of the canvases now on some of the sites are actually starting to come um, in different sizes. So it's worth checking now. Some of the uh, budget companies are actually doing different sizes in canvases in pictures. Okay, so we have a teacup up here, which looks like we've got a big key here. And um, possibly, oh, it's chained up. It's a chain there. I was thinking that was wands, but I think that's a chain. No, no, it is wands. There's wands there. There's two wands in there. Looks like we've possibly got some gems or some sweets and a cup of tea. We've got a lovely snowy owl. We've got some school ties with a little mouse here. We've got a writing book uh, with a pen, quill and ink. Oh, and this is a candle, sorry. I was just thinking, what's that? It's a candle. We've got a hat in here, which is hat. We've got um, a lightning strike and some little glasses. We have a letter with a seal on it. So that's a private letter. We've got a cauldron with all sorts of bits and pieces. And we've got, looks like a spell book and some potions. And then we've got a broomstick down here. And I just thought that was a really, really good picture. And our youngest is now into that little wizard. Our youngest granddaughter. So, yeah, I think this one may well be done and go in her bedroom. But I just thought that was a really different painting. And it'd be quite interesting to do. It will be a lot of confetti, which is a lot of colour changes because not got many big blocks of colour I think this is probably about it but there's quite a few colour changes in that as well but you could literally just do one square at a time <laughs> it's practically sectioned off for you but yeah it looks really really good lovely clear drill feel I think you can see hopefully the camera will focus okay even on the dark spots it's quite a softish canvas this one as well not 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 really there. Not real soft, but it is uh, softer than the other two that I've just looked at. So let's have a look at the drills. I think we can more or less see what colours we've got. Okay. Oops, coming two lots. All right. Let's say 24 different colours. Wow, Ooh, look at these. So we start off with the bright. So we've got our lovely royal purple and a beautiful cherry red there and a sagey green. 
and a dark grey and a light grey and a fawny colour and another like bay leaf green that one and a little bit paler cherry red oh and a nice grassy green and a sunny yellow and a very pale grey and a burgundy and a nice denimy blue like a russet colour and that's a very dark green and then are they all the same one no we've got two bags of this pale peach and then that one is a slightly darker peach i think these must be the backgrounds then and then like a brownie color and a very dark brown and then these look like they're all the browns and beiges so we've got your 3865 there your white and then these are all the browns and beiges which will be the shelving and the background and everything so yeah very nice they look like pretty decent drills but i tend to uh, say that you can only really tell what the drills are like once you've actually put them on the painting so we reserve judgment for that one okay let's pop these back away in the bag see if i can get them in so what a lovely haul and a real mixture as well so we've got our lovely harry potter-esque type painting we've got a couple of special drills one is christmas which is our mickey mouse-esque <laughs> our lovely bird wreath which is very pretty our spaceman yay drill pen okay and then our two halloween stickers so yeah we've gone through a few seasons with this one okay so we've got like a summary with your birds we've got your sort of halloween i reckon you could do that one for drills and chills or uh, spooky flings and christmas okay well i hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me big thank you to dp clubs for sending them to have a look at i hope you've enjoyed looking at them as much as i have and if you have enjoyed it thumbs up is always much appreciated and yeah don't forget to go to dp clubs and check out all those special offers okay well that's me done for now thank you ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now